everyone, welcome to my November plan with me video. I always wanted to do this winter night kind of theme and I got some inspiration from a picture that I found on Pinterest. I'll link it to the description box if I find it again. As you can see, I started the cover page by creating this night green sky background by mixing a deep green acrylic paint with a little bit of black. After the first layer dried, I then added a little bit of deep green to my mix to create this dark mountain kind of thing. So this whole painting is very easy and took me very less time to finish this. Anyways, here's a tip if you want to recreate this painting. Let the paint completely dry before you add layers to your painting. <laughs> Now for the whole background I used a thicker brush and for the trees that you'll see later in this video I used a thinner brush. I then used my Sakura white gel pen to draw some stars and a little moon there. After my painting dried, I cut the painting into rectangle and then cut that into four equal sections and pasted them with a little bit of cap between them. This technique made this ordinary painting into a very beautiful painting. Okay, then I wrote November with my Tombow Fudinoske hat tip brush pen and I did not like how the title looked so I wrote November in a piece of paper and pasted it on top of that that you'll see in a minute. I also drew a tent and a campfire to give that winter camping vibes and then with my thinner brush I added some trees. By the way guys, I also used my pencil color on top of the white pen to add minor details in the painting such as the yellow fire and brown locks. Not sure if it made a difference but it's okay. Moving on to the left side of the page, I made a mini calendar. I forgot to film this part but all I did was mix my acrylic green paint with a little bit of black as I did for the cover page to create the background and I threw in some trees at the bottom and again used my white gel pen to add some stars to the painting. Moving on to the next page, by the way guys, you can see a little bit change in the setup and also lighting because the sun went down and I had to change my location of filming. Anyways, so this next page is my to-dos page where I'll write down all the tasks that needs to be done for this month. I also have space at the bottom to write down my monthly manifestations. So before filming this video, I just tried the painting to see what's on my head is going to look good on paper or not and I used the rectangular cutouts of that painting to write down my title. Oh, and for the title, I used my Sakura white shell pen in the size 08. 
I also made boxes and added drop shadows to them with my Tombow Tool brush pen in the shade 243. And at the bottom left, I added some trees to match the whole theme. On the right side of the page, I have my expense tracker, so I think I'm going back to uni starting November, so I changed the layout of my budget tracker this month. This time, I have four columns, one for date, one for description, the next one with plus sign for income, and the last one with a minus sign for expenses. And at the bottom, I have space to write down the things that I need to buy. And this time, for the heading, I used my black gel pen. On the next page, I have my habit tracker and I made 6 boxes for 6 individual habits to track. I did not write the dates in the boxes because it takes a lot of time but I will write it down later. The habits that I'll be tracking this month are same as always and the habits are meditation, study, workout, self-care, hydration and dance. On the next page, I have my study tracker and here as well, I pasted a green paper to write down my title with my black gel pen and for the tracker, the layout is very simple. I'll just write down the date and the topics that I covered on that day. Now I have my weekly spread, so I started with writing November at the top with my Tombow Fujinoski hat tip brush pen in cursive and then I made 6 columns for 7 days of the week, Saturday and Sunday combined. And this is the final flip through of this month's setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you in my next video.